1998, the World Commission on Dams embarked on a three-year global evaluation of large dams, and they located the Secretariat in Cape Town, and that is where my organization, the Environmental Monitoring Group, got involved. One of the problems we found was that the experiences of people on the ground weren't really coming through. So we hosted in 1999 the Southern African Hearings for Communities Affected by Large Dams. So um, the opportunity came, uh, one of our colleagues, uh, Environmental Montana Group uh, from Cape Town, they were um, preparing communities to raise their voices before the Commission on, on Welcome and Dams, that was chaired by Professor Karas Malu, was the Minister of Water Affairs in South Africa at the time. I came across uh, Brian Ash's mm -hmm. comment from AdLife. Then I picked up the phone, I phoned him. We made arrangements to, to, to meet. In 2003, we had a, um, a meeting at an Ananda, um, or at, at in, the, in the valley, and we actually had a meeting at Kwading Boko, and it was very interesting to see the communities come face to face for the first time on the cliffs overlooking the dam with the engineer who constructed the dam, and the, stand, or the, 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 the dialogue that happened as a result of that. On the, on the dam top. They never met each other until that meeting. In, in 2003, one of the campaigns that we took as an environmentalist to guide the communities was to highlight the issues of uh, the dam affected communities, particularly in other dam. Uh, we met with, with the former Minister of Water Affairs, Minister Castles, uh, on the 25th of uh, April 2003. The Minister then visited um, the dam affected communities where they were living. We took, we took the Minister to, to Zumachi, we took the Minister to, to Kwatinabagubo. That's where the Minister visited and saw people live, still living in, in tin, tin shacks and some of them were still living in, in plastic shadows. Uh, they've been living that kind of life from 1987. So that's how when the president came as well. The president acknowledged on behalf of government, together with the minister, that the government acknowledges that as much as they are giving water to the 9 million person since democracy, um, the previous government, the apartheid government, removed people forcefully. And the, according to the president, his government has committed his government to, to correct the wrongs of the past. And we, 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 we may even tell uh, the, mini, uh, the president of South Africa did come. Uh, into our area, and I remember next to him was uh, the chief, Zojan Ngobo, who actually got the money. And uh, I remember uh, the president turning on his side and he said, Chief, thanks very much for allowing us to come here. Then the president said, We understand that although we're happy with the construction of this, with the availability of this in under death, but we understand the people who were evicted here. There are issues that are outstanding whereby their compensation hasn't reached their hand. And he told the chief that the matter was on his hand to resolve. And that was the end of the day. So we have been getting promises all over, but nothing material. And then Mbeki came to the Nanda area in 2003, and he said sort of publicly, you are forced to move to make way for the Nanda Dam, where others more privileged than you could drink every running drop of that precious water. So the, the communities felt, well, Mbeki is here, he, he knows what's going on. Something now will happen. And since then, nothing has happened. 
minister, when the former minister of water affairs was in charge, he was very, very kind to us. And I wish he was still the minister of water affairs today. Because he, in the moment he heard about this, the, the, these, these problems that we actually encountered, he formed this Inanda Dam Repression Forum. In addition to that, the minister um, invited um, a Togun municipality on behalf of government to, to ensure that communities are relocated to decent houses, uh, the construct houses, o obviously, and that process as, as well has not, has not materialized. And the, the reason why that Inanna Dam uh, 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 forum was actually formed was to resolve these problems. I have so far uh, resigned or sent my comment to say since it was formed, nothing has been, no, nothing has materialized. I'm wasting my time going there. Nothing that is tangible that we have seen happening. But they still, you know, they still calling those uh, that forum, uh, forum meeting on a monthly basis. But I'm not attending because nothing has happened. Earlier this year, um, February 2007, I attended one of the meetings of the Inanda Dam Forum, and there weren't enough councillors present to make a quorum, so it was a non-event. It was a non-meeting officially, and the chairman of that non-meeting said that not one single thing has happened in the three years that the Nanda Dam Forum has been meeting. We wanted that there should be a memorial plaque whereby all the people that actually died, their name should be placed on the wall of Nanda Dam. To ensure that the memorial plaque is constructed, to ensure that um, them co affected communities get the reparation, also prioritizing communities in in, um, in, in in development. We understand that the government is, was saying at the time they cannot provide monetary compensation. Unfortunately, monetary compensation came to, in our view, the wrong people because money was supposed to be compensating them for the communities. It went to traditional leaders. In other term, forum has not been effective because of the, of the government stakeholders. The government stakeholders have not in other way, they betrayed um, the vision of, of the minister. The minister was very optimistic when he, when he, when he established the forum as a multi stakeholder dialogue, which in a way is in line with what is proposed by the World Commission on Dams. Um, the World Commission on Dams, after their three-year evaluation of dams throughout the world, they estimated that there's about 60 million people have lost their homes to dams, which if you look at today's population, 16 million is equivalent to one out of every 100 people alive on the planet at this moment. One of the important issues that have come out of the World Commission on Dams and out of the South African process around the World Commission on Dams in their final report, um, which is about applying the World Commission on Dams in South Africa, is that outstanding social issues of the past need to be addressed. And in South Africa, we don't have a reparations policy, and we have no legal route for people that have been affected by the past.